Hi, this is Gina Greenlee, your roving reporter for On Point Tutorials, Tips, and Tours. Today we're going to join a quilt guild meeting at my guild, the West Michigan Quilters Guild. So we're going to take a look at what you would expect to find at a quilters guild. You're going to find friends, you're going to find fabric, and you're going to find all sorts of fabulous things. Let's take a look. My favorite things about every quilt guild meeting that I've ever been to is the vendor because we have great stores that visit us at every meeting to show us all their new and wonderful products. Right now I'm here with Mary Evelyn Vu and you have a new store, don't you? I do. It's called Love to Quilt. And you're up in the Cedar Rock area, correct? That is correct. I've got um, notions for the quilting. I've got a lot of fat quarters, books, patterns. Well, and I've already seen a few that I like. So after we do this, I'm sure that I hope to be your first customer in the cash register. But again, quilters love color. And, and I can see that you've put together just a really lovely display with a rainbow of color. Was, was that hard to do? No, it's really easy because everything in my store is very colorful. <laughs> wonderful so i'll be up there soon thank you mary evelyn and i hope you have a wonderful meeting you stay for the meeting yes. well, thank you very much gina thank you one more thing that you will find at a quilt guild meeting is a speaker of some sort they will be there to teach and share information about their quilting history or their quilting techniques. A lot of times these speakers will also offer classes the day of or on a day around the guild meeting. These classes are a fabulous way to get education from teachers who are skilled and who travel and could potentially be nationally known designers. And by participating in your quilt guild, you would be able to learn from these people. amazing the charity work that quilters do. With the West Michigan Quilters Guild, we, one of the projects that we do is we make quilts for the neonatal intensive care unit. So tell me a little bit more about that project that you work with. Okay, um, first of all we cut kits that people can pick up at each meeting and um, they just make them and return them to us. Um, each year we try to have a goal in mind as to how many kits or quilts that we complete. Last year we completed over 1,500 for the neonatal unit. 1,500 baby quilts, that's amazing. So each baby was able to get one. It does take a team, and that's the other thing with yeah. quilters is very often we work together on different projects, and this isn't the only charity project that this guild works on. There are a handful of others that benefit hospice and all other sorts of groups. So if you have a charity bent or your house is so completely full of quilts that you don't know where you're going to put your next one, talk to a guild about doing some charity quilting. As a quilter, I have a serious book problem. I buy a lot of books and a lot of patterns. But at some point, even I run out of money. So I go to my quilt guild's library. And our own Karen Giles, who is the floor director of On Point, is the librarian here for the West Michigan Quilters Guild. Hi, Gina. We have over 1,100 books here at the library. It's a great service that we offer to our members. They are allowed to take out five books per meeting then the next meeting they bring it back. So what a great service, they can check out five books of any of eight different categories that we have and then bring it back if they're late. It's only a dollar per book for the fines. And that is a great deal, <laughs> that's a great deal. And um, I know that the books turn, how do you find new books? Well, we have a resource session, section on West Michigan Quilt Guild website. And so when I check in books, it's through the cloud. There's a certain program that I use. And I just make sure I reference that before I buy anything new. But I also reference our members and I ask them what they want to read. And I'm out there looking for new things all the time. 
That is wonderful. And I know that I have checked out some of the books, and uh, most of the time I bring them back on time. <laughs> but Karen, thank you very much, and I'll let you get back to your readers. Thank you, Gina. So the key part of a quilt guild is generally the meeting itself. And so we have our meeting going right now. First they're going to do some business announcements, then they'll talk about the upcoming classes, then they'll introduce our speaker for the night. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Well, the meeting just got out. I found the thing that I wanted, the thing I couldn't live without, but now it's time to go home and work on my own quilt. I hope you find a quilt guild in your local area. You learn some new techniques, you make some new friends, and I hope your next quilt is on point. <laughs>